Uh, what's up, YouTube peoples? This is Reese from C Mango to review Kenny Chi Chapter Five O Six: The Viral Power. So um, yeah, this week is literally all about eat or be eaten. So uh, Lyle's basically his whole philosophy is that he's going to defeat you to become more powerful, kind of thing. You know, it's so, like uh, he's going to literally eat you so you can become stronger. It's weird. It's weird the way he says that. So yeah, he's basically planning to destroy Takedown, which he's and he starts off by doing that basically by like. Going around in really quick from weird angles and snack and like hitting his joints and dislocating them. It's like it's kind of nasty, you know. That low guy, he really does creep me out. But hell, um, good thing though. Takeda does actually manage to actually land a little bit of a blow finally on low. Bad thing is, it's literally just a scrape, so it did nothing whatsoever. So you know, he did pretty what any normal person would do in this type of situation. Hell, I would do it as well. He ran. <laughs> You see what I mean? My guy is literally running from him now. I'm just like, you know what? I need to run, regret, gather my thoughts back, get everything back together. You know, that you can come up with something. But stupidly, 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 this guy ends up running into a friggin' house of mirrors. Ah, uh, what an idiot! But seriously, House of Mirrors, man, it's there built to like, disorientate your vision so you don't know what's going on and he's going to be facing a guy in the House of Mirrors who can't see, who don't rely on no sight, only senses, so he's kind of screwed. Basically, just putting it simply, he's kind of screwed, you know? So seriously, I really don't see how Takeda is going to come out of this one, you know? He's literally a complete and total disadvantage. You know, he's stuck in that hole, he can't see what, he can't really tell what's happening. No, is there like I know exactly where you are, I can see you, you see, haha. -ha. So yeah. Basically Low ends up catching him and just putting a beat down on him. Takeda literally has his whole ready to die monologue. Which you know what? That's actually really, really sad, you know. Takeda's one of my favourite characters. I've never I don't want to see him, you know, get destroyed. But hell, luckily, you know, in true Kinichi fashion, basically just as like he's in his little death monologue, Lyle goes into his final strike and then Takeda somehow fires a strike at him which makes him jump back, you know, out of nowhere. What this was, I really don't know, you know, it's like, even Takeda don't know, he's kind of like sitting at, at the end he ends up sitting there just kind of like murmuring to himself, shadow boxing around, you know, so it's like, he's basically, he's come up with something. What it is, I don't know, but hell, we found out that basically Shiba Sensei didn't teach him that secret blow, so it isn't definitely is not going to be that you know me i was hoping it was going to be that you know i wanted to see what it was he taught him i was thinking it was going to be something crazy you know but hell he didn't get taught it yet he's going to basically find out if he returns from this battle so heck what that's going to be i don't know i would have thought he'd get taught that for when they actually do strike you know come on he's facing the guys as a submission user and she presents they had the technique to fight against the submission users but yeah i'm going to teach it to you if you beat this submission user so, uh, Where's the sense in that? Seriously, this guy is off his nut. You know? So, hell. What this... T well, but, yeah, anyway, what Takada's new little technique that he's figured out is, I don't know, you know, it seems like he kind of instinctively struck where he was going to be. So, like, being able to sense something. I don't know, maybe he's um, finally finding his key. Yeah, who knows? But, hell, that's... Well, we'll rest. We'll just probably find out next week, hopefully, unless it switches to someone else, which it might do. But hell, hopefully, it sticks to Takeda and we get to see what the hell is going on with him. So, yeah, with all that, this week's Kenny Chi, yeah, definitely. I've got to give it a 9 out of 10. You know, it's like this chapter did actually get me really pumped, and hell, it even brought a bit of emotion up. You know, it's like I didn't want to, you know, Takeda might die. It's like, no, don't kill Takeda, man. You can't, and uh, you know, he can't lose that creepy. Bastard lol man, this guy this guy's freaky man, he's like a human sloth man. Yeah, with his long lip is creepy. But hell. <laughs> yeah guys, I've rambled on long enough, so you know the usual. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I will catch you next week.